Your WordPress theme editor going missing uh, can actually be pretty annoying. It's happened to us a couple times. Typically, you're going to find that theme file editor underneath the appearance menu within WordPress dashboard. And on occasion, sometimes uh, it'll disappear. And so there's four pretty basic steps you have to follow if yours is not appearing. We'll dive right in. Step one is for new users uh, to WordPress that have not used it previously. Nine out of 10 times when they're not seeing the theme file editor option, it's because they actually haven't fully activated and deployed their theme yet. So if you're a new user, I'm just gonna show you really quickly under appearance themes, your specific theme here should show customize and show that it's active. If this box here says activate, click activate, then go back to appearance and you should see the theme file editor option appear down here below. Again, it sounds very basic. It's not a hard mistake to make when you're brand new to WordPress. On the other hand, if you've been using WordPress for some time and you've recently installed a security plugin, uh, nine out of 10 times, this is going to be your problem. So a lot of the security plugins have very specific settings that allow you to disable your theme file editor option. And when you do so and you activate that security plugin, it's going to disappear. So two really common plugins where this is the case that a lot of folks use is SiteGround Security and iTheme Security. If you have either of these, there's a couple really straightforward steps that you can take um, to, to ultimately disable this. So if we go over to WordPress dashboard, down to plugins, scroll down here to SiteGround Security. I'm going to activate it just for the sake of this walk through here. And you'll see that down on the bottom, SG security pops up as a menu option. Go to site security. And if you scroll down to the middle here, you'll see disable themes and plugins editor. It's currently on. You'd toggle this to off. You'd scroll down and save. And when you take a look back at your um, WordPress dashboard after reloading and refreshing the page, that's critical you'll see that the theme file editor option has now reappeared under appearance. So those are the two big fixes here. That's going to be the vast majority of folks. If you use a different plugin, um, such as the iTheme security plugin, there's some very basic steps you have to take. If your security plugin is different than these two, you should still go through the settings. Um, the process will be a little bit different, as I mentioned, but make sure that you cross this off the list because it's really a, a leading cause of the issue. We head over to step number three. If for whatever reason you've completed these first two steps and you're still not seeing the theme editor option, what you can do is you can go in and you can update your wpconfig.php file directly, do a little bit of a modification to the code, either by accessing it through your cPanel or by installing the WP file uh, manager plugin, which gives you the same access. I like the plugin. I think it's easier. Some folks have trouble getting into their cPanel, a little bit more in intimidating when you are in there. The plugin is, is very straightforward. Um, regardless of which approach you take, when you get into the file manager, you're going to right click and on the WP config uh, PHP folder and do code editor. So let's just quickly go into WordPress. You'll see I've downloaded the WP file manager here. We're just gonna simply click WP file manager out of the options. And when this loads, you'll see that all of the core files here will be listed and wpconfig.php is right here. We'll right click, we'll go to code editor. Once you're in code editor, what you're looking for is the following code line within that text field. It's define and then disallow file edit true. What we're going to do is simply replace true here with false and then save and close the file. When you do that, it should reappear in the appearance option. And your fourth and final step here and, and sort of uh, an unfortunate route if it comes to this is you're going to have to deactivate all of your plugins and reactivate them one at a time. If the issue persists, it's very likely that you have a faulty plugin that's simply not compatible with your specific theme. The only way to find this out, deactivate them all, go back, refresh your page, look at appearance. If the theme file editor option is there, start reactivating a plugin at a time. 
and in between reactivations, go back to appearance, refresh the page and see if the theme file editor option still remains. If between updates and, and reactivating a plugin, it disappears, you now know that that specific plugin is the culprit and you're either going to have to remove the plugin and move on with your life and not, not replace it or find a plugin that serves the same purpose and replace it. If it's a critical plugin and you feel like you can't live without it, you do have the third option of potentially reaching out to the development team for support. Again, if you feel like you, you really need it. All right. Hopefully one of those four steps helps solve the problem. Like, subscribe, it helps us out. And if you want some additional blogging tips and resources, head over to nichetwins.com. Till next time.